right, so I created this new domain here called best rep report dot review and I want to create an A record in the C name to point back to my local analyzer site. So I will come over here, click on manage, and then click on advanced DNS. Namecheap put in a couple defaults for us. You'll notice that under host, they're using www for the C name and they're using an at sign for the, the URL redirect. And currently the TTL is set to 30 minutes. We're going to be changing that also. But the TTL means that that's how long it takes for the uh, DNS checkers to review and refresh your sites. All right, so it looks like maybe I can't delete these records here until I have new ones to replace them. So I'm going to click on add new record. I'm going to add an A record. For the host, I'll use the at sign. And for the IP address, I will get that from my vendor or whoever I want to use. In this case, I got it from local analyzer. And then for the TTL time, I'll change this to five minutes. And then I'll add a new record and I'll call this the uh, C name record. And the host is going to be www. Target will be my subdomain at local analyzer, which is videopizzazz.repgrader.com. And we'll set this for five minutes. And click here, save all changes. And now let's see if we can delete this. Delete this. Okay, so that was the problem before. It looks like you could not delete those until you replace them with something else. So I have an A record now with the host of ad sign and the IP address pointing back to local analyzer. And my C name record is host www, and that's going to my subdomain of videopizzazz.repgrader.com. And that's how you would set your A record and C name up with inside of Namecheap. I hope you found that interesting, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.